Labor Day stuff here. I'm on the Monster. And I'm going to get some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I was thinking, I realized that I haven't really taken the Monster on a long solo commute type journey yet, even though that's exactly what this thing is best at. So uh, Cindy's uh, at work right now, so I figured I would uh, take it for this 20 mile round trip and see how it goes. Should be fun. Figured since it is a holiday, um, traffic should be on the light side. And thus far, just getting out on the Monkey Road, definitely as much less traffic than there normally would be on a, a, a normal work day. I plan to just keep it in the bike lane the whole way to uh, maximize speed. Again, since I'm by myself, um, I can uh, go as fast as I feel comfortable in going, so we'll see how it goes. I also have uh, Strava running on my iPhone, so I can uh, track with the, uh, the trip detail, speed, distance, all that kind of stuff. I just took a glance at Strava and I'm cruising about 17-18 miles an hour. It feels very comfortable. You may notice I also have the seat on the Monster, figuring if I have uh, some foot fatigue problems I can always uh, drop down into the seated position for uh, periods of time. Crossing Randall Boulevard. Huge shout out to Randall, man. Rock on! Randall! Yes! The only thing that sucks is the bike lane on a Mockley Road is not that well maintained. It's very uh, common to have debris in the lane, so... I gotta kind of keep my eyes open and focused ahead, well ahead, just to make sure I don't hit anything uh, I don't want to hit. My neighbors just drove by me and beeped. They're probably thinking, what the hell is wrong with that person? I just pulled over to see if I could change uh, Strava. It wasn't like just showing me my real time speed, instead, it was showing me my spot on the GPS map, which using this to track distance, how many people are going to want to see their, their blue dot on the map pulsating? I don't really understand that. Couldn't figure out quickly how to switch it back to just the real-time stuff, so. But it did say that my average speed so far was 19.9 uh, miles an hour, which is uh, trucking. Pretty good. So, um, I'm going to probably um, turn off my GoPro battery. I'll turn off my GoPro for a little bit to save some battery. This is just a long, boring stretch. Okay, I just um, got to Heritage Bay so I could get off the of Mockley. Now I'm on the uh, nice little bike trail area. I can take this um, up to Collier Boulevard and then get back on the road briefly and then get back on uh, another nice trail leading up to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, so far though, the Monster's been super, super easy, super smooth to just take down mileage really fast and in a comfortable way. Um, I, my average speed so far is like almost, it's just under 20 miles an hour. So that is, uh, that's like the best I've ever done on my road bike. Because I remember one time I averaged 20 miles an hour from my house to, um, Dunkin Donuts for that 10 miles because you can you know because if you do it in a half an hour that means you averaged uh, 20 miles an hour so I managed to do that I think once on my road bike and if I really wanted to push it I could definitely do it on the monster so it's kind of cool now passing the entrance to the quarry another frequent riding spot So I just got done um, 3D printing my second stand that Matthias designed. Uh, you might remember he made this design back for his ACM months ago, the picture of it. And um, I made the first one and I put my M Super on it and it, it, it holds it great. And I was just curious if it could hold the monster. And I put the monster on it as well and it held the monster, you know, the 60 pound plus monster. So I am uh, just got done printing my second one, and I'm hoping to uh, set up the monster on there instead of using the um, 
the cutout box for the bottom, which is kind of unreliable and, and not so clean looking. So, thanks again, Matthias, for all your hard work with the uh, EUC community. Okay, now approaching Collier Boulevard. Looks like they're almost done with this uh, bridge project here. Thank goodness. Kind of nice when you have a whole car lane to yourself, temporarily. Okay, we are now on the final pathway leading to Dunkin' Donuts. So far, the monster has been very, very capable in this sort of environment, which is expected. I'm not surprised at all. But I am looking forward to. Uh, trying to take the monster to work for my 50-mile uh, commute again sometime, you know, in the winter or spring or something like that or fall, I don't know, when it's cooler and less chance of rain, but yeah, this has been a good ride so far. I have arrived successfully. Alright, just took a quick break, grab my coffee, stretch my legs a little bit. I'm going to head right back out. All right, we are back heading eastward. Hopefully the second half of the ride goes as well as the first half. So uh, my plan here is to stay in the paths up until Collier Boulevard and then cross over and uh, use the bike lane heading east the rest of the way. We did a uh, quick check with the Gotway app. And uh, the temperature of the bot was real low, so it was like 43, 44 degrees Celsius, and um, I was at 80% battery, so it's not bad for 10 miles. I can tell that on the ride back I'm going to have a lot more headwind, which is um, usually the case. When, you're, when I'm riding my road bike against this wind, I uh, kind of hate it. On the electric unicycle, it's not so bad, but you do use extra battery, and it does go a little uh, slower. 80 across. About uh, nine miles to go, eight and a half miles, something like that. Yeah, it's weird. Usually, it's my feet that hurt the most on longer rides, but um, I'm feeling it more in my calves. My um, calves feel really tight for some reason. Maybe it's because I ran yesterday. I don't know. The tractor trailer just went by, and man, I could feel myself getting sucked into his draft. All of a sudden there was no headwind and I could feel the wheel just like start to accelerate like crazy. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to sit down but I'm not uh, comfortable with it enough and um, just felt wobbly getting down, and down into the seated position so I just I think I'll stay upright. I'm down but it feels awkward. Can't go as fast either. I just can't keep good speed seated because my legs are so long um, it, it forces my center of gravity back so to, to try to get uh, some decent tilt to maintain speed is just is really tough so if I want to go fast I gotta uh, stand up hopefully I wasn't speeding I smell smoke and um, of course, when you're riding on an electronic device, the smell of smoke can make you nervous, especially when it's a single wheel and you're going almost 20 miles an hour. But um, I believe I, it's like a wood, a wood kind of smoke, I believe, not an electrical burn. At least I hope so. Okay, I don't smell it now. I think I'm in the clear. I've done this ride a couple of times on the M Super. It wasn't bad, but I, I can tell you that doing it on the Monster is definitely easier, uh, significantly easier. It just it just wants to go in a straight line, it's super stable, no matter what kind of speed you're going. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely the best wheel I've ever ridden as far as this kind of uh, riding goes. And I'm making such good time that I'm going to still have coffee left by the time I get home. That's never happened. I had to switch hands. I got tired of holding the coffee cup.
only have about a mile to go. Home stretch. All right, here's my street. Last turn, well, last turn before the driveway. This went better than expected. We made it. So after all that riding, 50, 50 degrees Celsius is the current wheel temperature. Again, not bad. We're pushing into the headwind. Hi, babies. It's me, Elsa. Come here. <laughs> Elsa, it's me. Come here. 50% uh, battery. Elsa doesn't know who I am for some reason. Um, so that's cool. Let's see what Strava says. Average speed, 18.3 miles an hour. That's pretty damn good for... Um, you know, riding on the on the pathways for probably two miles of that, where you're going slower, crossing streets, um, and 20.3 total miles. Hi, baby. So, yeah, not bad at all. So yeah, there you go. My first um, commuter type ride on the Monster, and uh, it was very, very good. Not, not uh, really a negative thing to say about it. So again, hope everybody has a great Labor Day, and until next time, I'll find out. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't already.